This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hi, I'm Susie Sun. Here's what's happening around the Southland right now. A nurse was shot by a patient on the grounds of Martin Luther King Jr. Community Hospital in Willowbrook today. The 20-year-old suspect is in custody and the nurse is expected to recover. Sentencing today for a former UC Riverside Honor student accused of plotting to kill two ex-boyfriends. In a plea agreement, 23-year-old Barbara Wu was sentenced to three years. She's already been behind bars. The woman at the center of the scandal that cost Donald Sterling the LA Clippers has been ordered to pay Sterling $50,000. The money is for legal fees related to V. Stiviano's failed defamation lawsuit against Sterling, his estranged wife Shelley, and the Clippers. California topped the list for Pacific Coast shark attacks last year. The Shark Research Committee reports six unprovoked shark attacks on humans in 2014. Four in Santa Barbara County, two San Luis Obispo County. Already this year, there have been shark sightings in Manhattan Beach and at Surfers Point in Ventura. And for the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, be sure to stay with CBSLA.com. Hello, I'm CBS meteorologist Rich Fields. Well, before the cloud cover started rolling in, we actually hit a nice spike today with daytime high temperatures, 80 degrees downtown under partly cloudy skies. Things have changed now, starting to see a lot of cloud cover. Going to continue to be cloudy overnight tonight with showers likely 53 for the overnight low. Here's a look at your extended outlook for the next seven days. Uh, slightly cooler temperatures as a series of low pressure systems are going to keep us on the cloudy and cool side the entire week. Another Santa Ana wind event setting up for next Saturday. And that's a look at your forecast. I'm Gary Miller with sports. As expected, Kobe Bryant will undergo surgery on Wednesday for his torn rotator cuff. He's expected to miss the rest of this season. Big news. You know, I, I talked to him this morning uh, before he we went in for the examination. Told him I said a prayer for him and we'll talk afterwards. And, um, you know, I just got the news as well. Remember, you can always find the latest scores on CBSLA.com. And that's your CBSLA.com News Brief. Remember, we're always on. And be sure to click Listen Live to hear KNX 1070 News Radio and our other stations anywhere you are.